Anderson. Yes, sir. Let's go, my boy. Good fight, baby. Good fight. Yes, sir. Tim, first and foremost, congratulations on the victory here in your hometown. How does it feel to put on in front of your people? I mean, it felt great to, you know, put on a show in front of my people. I, I think they really showed up and showed out for me. Um, I don't think I put on the best performance for them, but I definitely think I put on a hell of a performance for them. Jared, you know, in the third round, you knocked him down the fourth round. I thought you were smelling blood, but then in the fifth, he started to come back. Was he as durable as you thought he would be? I mean, he was pretty tough there. For sure. He was uh, definitely as durable as I thought, but I kind of prepared for that. Um, I definitely didn't expect for him to just go anywhere. And I think that's why we went the whole 10 rounds, you know. Um, I definitely wanted to show that I could go the distance. Um, it was a couple times I lagged off because I wanted to go the distance, you know what I'm saying? I seen he was tough. I seen that he wasn't necessarily going anywhere. That's how I got back to my jab. Um, it took it slow. Hey, Jared, you know, mentioning the jab, there was adjustments made in the middle. I know there was a point where you guys were hitting each other and you had some good shots on him and he snuck some in. What was the, the plan when you made those adjustments and go to the jab? Stick to it, you know, listen to my corner. I got 100% faith in my corner. Um, I just listened to him and listened to what they said. I'm so thankful Shakur was in front row. Um, he was doing the same thing. What was your corner saying? Um, stick to my jab, you know, uh, everything off the jab. Um, and just stay stay sharp. You seem to have success in that southpaw stance. We saw you switch in the third, and then the knock, knockdown came after again in the ninth. You switch had a lot of success in the ninth and tenth from the southpaw stance. Was that something that you kind of just picked up on, or you chose to switch uh, when the opportunity was right, or it's the corner telling you to switch? Um, it was me. You know, all I mean, they never told me to switch. Uh, one time, my coach told me that southpaw looking good, you can stay that way, um, but nobody told me to switch. It was kind of just instinct. Um, that's just me. After the fight, I saw you say to Charles that this was fun. What made tonight so much fun for you? Um, we got to put it on the show. You know, and that's what made it so much fun. Um, I heard the crowd. Like I said, the crowd was me from round one to round ten. Um, I appreciate him so much for that, and I appreciate Charles for coming on and putting on a great show. What's next for you? Um, to just keep being great, man. I, I, I think I inspired a lot of people. Um, I think I got uh, gained a lot more fans, and I'm just happy for that. How? You mentioned, obviously, you wanted to showcase you can go the distance to do that in your hometown. What, what did that mean? Was that extra special? I think it was extra special because everybody asked me, everybody is DMing me, Jared, please let the fight go, please let the fight go, please let the fight go. Um, it definitely didn't go because I didn't want it to. You know, I would have stopped it if I, if I could have. Um, I didn't get the stoppage tonight, and I'm more than okay with that. Um, I was more okay with going the distance um, and just showing that I can go the distance and, and, and look good. I know it takes a lot of things to happen right to make this fight in your hometown happen. Do you feel like you could come back at some point again in your career? You've seen that crowd tonight. You know I can come back. <laughs> You coming, you coming back later this summer? I can't make no promises on that. We and Top Ranger talk about it, though. We love you. Thank you so much. You brought Play out, out more. Your, your high school band. How important was, was it to include, you know, uh, something that is a part of you, in a sense, uh, in your ring entrance in front of the people? I think it was super dope. Um, I think the crowd loved it. I think Ohio loved it. Toledo loved it. Um, you know, we just, we had a very, very good time, man. I think ESPN did a great job on showcasing what I wanted to do. Um, you know, we were in contact for a long time of what we were going to do and how we were going to do it. And for them to uh, take part and get, let me get an artist and the marching band, I think it was extremely dope. I'm so proud of everybody who performed, all the high schoolers, all the uh, alumni. I'm more than happy with Top Rank for allowing me to do it and more than happy with ESPN for them allowing me to do it. What did your time of mean to you? Um, my time at Scott meant a lot. You know, I grew a lot. Uh, it wasn't the only school, high school I went to. Um, I went half and half, really. Um, but it was where I had to grow up. You know, I had to learn that if I didn't stay on top of myself, that I failed. So I learned a lot at Scott. When you when you fight, was there a little bit of some homecoming jitters? Because I know a lot of fighters speak of it. Um, did you feel any type of extra pressure here versus like fighting in Vegas on pay-per-view cards that you normally been on? Not at all. Um, I was in my own head. You know, um, and I'm my own worst critic. You know, I felt like I looked like shit today. Everybody else felt like I looked great. Um, and I did my thing and I, I, I adjusted, you know. I do feel like I adjusted and I feel like I adjusted fairly well, but I could have adjusted a lot better. You know, uh, when I did drop him, I felt like I could have turned it up another notch um, and I didn't. I'm upset about that slightly, but I got through the night. A win is a win and we're here. Did you feel like you hurt him when he went down or um, just kind of like a, a good shot, but not enough to really kind of... Kind of like I believe I heard him multiple times in the fight, um, regardless of the knockdown. That wasn't what I was focused on. Um, I was just focused on staying sharp and keeping my head in the game so I didn't get distracted and get knocked out myself.
I'm sure there were a lot of thoughts coming into that about how this night would be for you. Can you kind of summarize, I and mean, after now the fight is over, how would you describe kind of this overall atmosphere just to fight the night itself for you and being here? Um, win or lose, you know, there's going to be critics. Good or bad, there's going to be critics. Um, so I'm just keep living my life. You know I, mean? I don't care what nobody says. I don't read comments no more. Yeah. Jared, well, thank you for the performance. Thank you for putting on. Over 7,000 people came out to see you shine and in your hometown of Toledo, Ohio. And uh, I'm sure, like you said, there was a few people inspired by the performance in the ring tonight. For sure, man. I, I appreciate everybody for coming out. I appreciate all y'all for coming out, man. I appreciate y'all for wanting to see me. You know, uh, they did a great thing with my dog, man. Showed my dog off and made him a superstar. So Azul. I'm eternally grateful to ESPN and Top Rank for that, man. Awesome. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared.